Tonight, police tell us the victims in each case were specifically targeted. We begin with the new details on those four people found dead in a home on the city's southeast side on Parker Avenue near Keystone and I-65. RTV6 reporter Jack Reinhardt joins us live from police headquarters, which with much more on that story. Jack. Well, Todd, because of the complexities of the case, Metro Police say they can't release too many details of this investigation. But police tonight are characterizing the murders of four people as no random act. It's the day after in the 3400 block of South Parker Avenue. Four people gunned down in this rather modest home has put this normally quiet neighborhood on the map. It's stunning, you know. I mean, right now you get so many gawkers driving by and you know, disrupt. You know, for the most part, when I grew up here, this was a quiet little neighborhood, and and then there just nothing really happened. Shortly after 8 p.m. last night, police received a 911 call. A person said they found three dead bodies inside the residence. When police arrived, they found four victims, 21-year-old Haley Navarra, 22-year-old Christy May Sanchez, 43-year-old Jacob Rodimich, and the homeowner, 47-year-old Walter Burnell. Police confirmed the victims all died of gunshot wounds, and they believe that drugs played a central role in the killing. There are similarities in what we're saying about those individuals involved. And again, we're not we're going to demonize the lives of these individuals but there are they've, they've had some uh, some brushes with the law residents in the neighborhood say they've called police numerous times about suspicious if not illegal activity going on inside the residence people in the neighborhood say it wasn't difficult to figure out what was going on it's all kind of vehicles going in and out over there i mean they go in they come right back out they be going back and forth all day long over there so sounds like drugs to you yeah definitely most definitely Definitely drugs. Some criminal activity involved over there. Now, Metro Police say they've identified one or more individuals as persons of interest in this case. So far, Indianapolis has had 26 homicides. That compares to 20 homicides last year through the end of February. Reporting live from police headquarters, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. All right, good.